that's uh, When in Rome by Signified, who are currently our guests live in the studio. We've got Keith, Ash and Brian from the band. Uh, great track that guys, nice and heavy, you, good sound on it, good production. Where, what's that taken from? It was a bit of an experiment in some ways. Um, we've got a, we got a, a string quartet in, um, a wonderful little group from Manchester who come in and um, they, yeah, they really helped us in the post-production aspect of that because we had the idea down and it kind of grew and we knew we fancied something a little bit different on it and trying to, um, trying to, you know, handle a quartet tone with the metal is a little bit, a bit risky, but it kind of. A bit of fruition, I think. Yeah, it, 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 it went off. Yeah, just about. It was one of those things that's like, oh, we've got strings on the metal song. It's like, it's been done before. It's been done plenty yeah, before. Yeah, and it's at least it's real it's strings as well. But uh, it, gives, it just gives it a whole different. I mean, we try. We've got our own sound, but we try and do different. Um, try and do different. Try and mix in whatever's going down. I mean, um, one of the uh, the new EP we're, we're sort of uh, it's been worked on. Um, there's a song in there that's kind of like techno -y, and that's just, and we've done that before on the self-titled EP from, uh, what year was that? 2006, I think it was, yeah. Seven, I don't know. 1993. But yeah, we've always mixed up electronics with what we do, because we all like electronic dance music. We like everything, we listen to everything, so we try and bring in what we like as well as just sort of put on top of the musical frame of what we do. Do you um, think, um, I mean, I was something that I was chatting with John Rob about this today, do you think that that's come about, people have much more diverse taste in music these days than say even 10, 15, 20 plus years ago because there's so much access to music yeah, these days. Yeah. Do you think that informs then yeah. your own? It's yeah. a great way of creating new genres always as well. It's people are a lot more open-minded. Yeah, um, like a lot, like years ago like, it was a bit snobbiness but like metal for like anything, anything else. If you're into metal you couldn't like techno or any dance music and all that, but it's all, it's all together now. It's, it sounds a lot more comfortable. Come full circle, hasn't it? It's just, I mean, people, wouldn't think. I mean, Pendulum, great band, playing Donington, the drum and bass band, but yeah. it crosses over. It's that's kind of. I don't know what we consider ourselves. We just, like we call a power trio. That's what we. You know, we're not really anything. We're, we're rock and metal and bits of electronic and, and punk. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we're just sort of like. Uh, I don't know, melting pot of influences. Mongols. <laughs> that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What sort of things are you listening to at the moment? What do you, What do you rate out there at the moment? Anything new or past or uh, new? Yeah. Uh, new, uh, Alex, Alex Clare, absolutely love the Alex Clare. Uh, um, he's kind of he's really diverse. You know, again, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, he's, you can visit a lot of jazz roots there, a bit of drum bass roots, a bit of dubstep roots, a bit, a bit of soul, a bit of pop. Um, you know, he's, right. good, he's very good. Cool. Yeah. What about you, Keith? Um, it's, it's actually the last uh, thing that I heard is um, that I really liked was an. Um, an album by a band called Savages, just like an old girl band. Yeah. Um, but they're very, they sort of lean towards my bloody Valentine, that noise kind of thing. But that's the newest thing that I've heard that made me sort of go, okay, that's it. Sounds like indie music's meant to sound, if you like. Yeah, I, I think I've caught a couple of tracks of theirs on there on Six Music, and there's quite a bit of a buzz about that. Yeah. yeah. In quarters, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what about you, Brian? Uh, I'm really into the new Brimier album, the Horizon album. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, a bit of form reverse as well. Yeah, okay. So there's quite a, a diversity there between the stuff you yeah, listen yeah. to and yeah. Roman. Yeah. And do you find then you go and take that in when you go into you know, record these Somehow stuff? it's subconsciously, even if you don't really know it, you, if you like it and, and you're sort of thinking that's a great album, I, I suppose you know you soak it up and subconsciously it comes out somehow. And, um, so we were listening to a lot of dubstep a while back. And, uh, <laughs> it happens, doesn't yeah. it? Is that what you're like, listen to the one? I, I think, think it's worked its way up. It's worked its way up somewhere to one of the new tracks somewhere. Like, <laughs> so, you know, but you can't help that. You know, I suppose if you're a musician, um, you just you can't help doing that. You just sort of soak it up. Yeah. Well, Corn went dubstep. Music for dubstep. Well, the Corn's album, yeah. dubstep album, is actually really quite I good. I quite like it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it suited them. I, th I think the beauty of having uh, again that eclectic and open mindedness, you, you don't become a carbon copy of something current. Yeah. As well, again, it's you know, um, which we you know probably all did when we were in bands. Uh, like as teenagers, you all listen to the same album. You sat there and go, oh, I love this riff. And suddenly you've written a riff. Goes, it does not sound a bit like that, <laughs> that riff we were listening to. So I think it's definitely a healthy thing from a music, musical point of view. Definitely. And with this new EP, were you going in there consciously with looking to something different? I mean, I know you said that there's the the techno track, but even songs like um, this road, which we're going to hear in just a moment. Yeah, uh, we just. I mean, we, when we turned, we were in like, new, we recorded these songs in New Hampshire in the States last year and we've since been uh, kind of refreshing them by putting ideas and new bits across, um, sort of sending them file-wise that way as well type of thing, but we kind of, um, the producer Brian Satch, um, we kind of just said, 
you know, we wanted to do what we do and, and what he can do as a producer, what he sees. And that's why we call the EP um, Detour, really, because it is kind of like a... Diver, it's, like a, it's like a left road somewhere, I mean, I mean, but then again, the, the new tracks we're already working on is kind of different again. Yeah. So it, it's, uh, I think as a musician, you're never really satisfied with what you do. You just move on to the, new, the next thing, you know, that's all you can do. I mean, obviously, we think it's great, but you're never really satisfied or you wouldn't really move on and do yeah, something. You hang up the coat, wouldn't you? That's the thing. You never really, you never really yeah. satisfied with that. So get, get out on the revival. So that's it. Kick, kick in the <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll take this track now. This is uh, off the new EP by Signified and it's called This Road. <laughs> 